Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove distracting objects in the background of your images using Photoshop. But before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Chris and Landon for allowing me to use their image to show you guys how I remove distracting objects in my images. So without further ado, let's get started. So first what I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer. Call it background copy. I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to call this layer yellow things. So we'll start with that. So, what I'm going to do on this layer is go through and get rid of the yellow things. <laughs> Don't know what they're called. So for me to do this, I'm going to go into the Spot Healing Brush tool. And I'm just going to drag and slide. And I'm not going to let it get to the card just yet. I'm just going to kind of drag and slide to get rid of the majority. Just kind of click around a bit. Oops, a little close. All right, so that's looking better than what we had before. So now, actually, in all, in all honesty, what we could have done was duplicated this layer again right there and just edited everything out. Okay, just spot heal the car. And, and this will this will make sense in just a second why I'm doing this. But you're going to just spot heal the area and come back and put a layer on top of this and erase off of that. All right, so now that we have that done, we're going to grab the copy of the yellow things and bring it down below the original yellow things layer. And now what you're gonna do is make sure you have the, yeah, I should have probably organized this better. I'm gonna call this the top layer. And this I'm going to call the bottom layer. So what we had before was the bottom layer would have been up here. And that's the what we just went through and spot healed everything. So you're going to drag the bottom layer below the top layer. So now you have the top layer on top. And this layer, as you see, if I click the eye tool, which makes it disappear, you'll see we have the bottom layer under it. So you go over the top layer, you go into the erase tool, eraser tool, and you just go over the area that you just spot healed and erase. It is that easy. Nice and close. Now there is another way you can do this with the pen tool. Uh, it does take a little bit of practice, but once you have it down, it's just as easy to do. This is just personally what I like to do. Awesome. So now the yellow things are all gone. Now what you're going to do is take the top layer and merge it with the bottom layer. Actually, before we do that, you'll notice we have some miscellaneous stuff that, um, whoops, that, uh, you know, oh, I just didn't erase it. But say, for instance, we had uh, on the bottom layer, you know, you're trying to spot heal and you had something there so when you were spot healing you still had something there you just go through back into that bottom layer and spot heal that out until you notice it was not affecting your top layer anymore so there we go so now what i'm going to do is merge these two layers together and boom, you're done. 
That's how you get rid of distracting objects in the background of your images. But what I'm going to do is take this a step further. Probably should have asked Chris to take out his water bottle. That's a little distracting too. So I'm going to go in and edit that out using the spot healing brush tool as well. Before we actually started this, we're going to duplicate this layer. So in the event that I completely botch what I am originally working on, I don't lose all of that file data. So I'm just going to go through and spot heal this out. Slide all along the red. Oh, don't like how that turned out. So I'm just going to go a little bit at a time. Usually when you spot heal and it's just a big blob or chunk, you kind of have to take it a little by little. But what we could do to speed this up again is since we have the top layer and this would be this would be the the top layer and this actually would now be the new bottom layer because we'll move that under you can just spot heal all that out oh boy make sure everything's black in the area sorry chris take the top layer above and now you go, make sure you have the top layer selected, go into the eraser tool and just erase that out. That's a little faster than relying on the spot healing brush tool. And I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but you can kind of see some red lines here. So that's because uh, from what I have on the bottom layer, I need to go and spot heal that out. and perfect so now I'm going to go ahead and merge those here's a before and after this is the before and here's the after I'm going to do one more thing they actually um, they put their plaque behind the car we're trying to hide it to get some uh, shots without the plaques and it was still kind of showing and when I originally edited their photos, it kind of bothered me. So I went through and I got rid of those. I'm going to show you how I do that as well. This is a little more complicated, but um, for the most part, the same principles apply. What I also like to do is uh, get rid of the um, parking lines as well. Just spot heal those out. Usually come out pretty easy. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to get into it. Let's go. I'm going to duplicate the top layer, name it bottom layer, because this is what's going to go on the bottom. But we're going to leave it on top first. I'm just going to go through and spot heal this out until it looks like what. Um, actually, I'm going to control Z, control Z, control Z. Go back. What I'm going to do is slowly heal this so it looks like nothing but road or the parking structure under the car. And I'm just going to do the best job I can. It doesn't have to be perfect here. Because what we will then do is So can go. What we will then do is, since this is a little further away, actually it's not looking too bad, I'm going to take the uh, mixer brush tool and just kind of drag and paint to replicate um, what the underneath of the car would look like. I'm going to go back now. I'm going to take my bottom layer, move it to underneath the top layer. So I have that there, and now I'm going to go in and just erase that out. So you're going, to, oh, you're going to want to make sure you have the top layer selected, and just go through and erase, erase, erase. I'm 
going to merge those two layers. Whoops. Merge those two layers together. I'll go through here. There's a little spot that I like. Fill that up. Perfect. And there we go. Here is the full before and after of uh, the removal of the distracting things in the image. It's the before and the after. Zoom in here. Before and after. And the water panel. Before and after. So that's it guys. I hope you were able to follow along and I hope you learned something new. I hope you guys are able to put what I showed you today into practice and it helps you in uh, your photography journey. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.